Hi Seeker, welcome back to the Existential Shift for your February monthly Terroscope for Drumroll Aquarius. Happy birthday Aquarius. Happy belated for those of you that had their birthday in the past couple of weeks. I love you guys very, very much. I am surrounded with Aquarians. I'm surrounded with crazy geniuses. <laughs> They're like, I don't care, but I know how much they care. Okay, first cards. So much drama on the beginning. Five of Swords, Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Tower. Are we in for some birthday drama? Aquarius? Hmm. Let me look at this for a second. Take a sip of my tea. I think I need a cookie for this. Do you believe in the God of cookies? I believe the God of cookies is good and merciful and jolly. I mean, Cook is in tea, right? You're like, I don't want to have all this drama. I just want to drink my tea and eat my cookie. What's up with this Five of Swords tower, huh? It's okay. We have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Okay. I'm going to just say it. Someone, either you or someone else, hopefully you, is taking control over a very annoying situation. The annoying will be the Tower and the Five of Swords. The taking control will be the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Now, these two, the Ace and the Queen, are in the midst of all this. The chaos around them. Things are collapsing. People are fighting. And very Aquarian-like, actually, you find yourself in the midst of the storm. I got this. <laughs> Aquarius will rescue. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm going to make it work and I'm going to have some fun while I do it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. You are instinctively and intuitively guided, Aquarius. I feel like this is somewhat of a spiritual test to see your strength of character. Let's see if you can uh, walk the talk kind of thing, okay? We, you're, we're Aquarius, right? We speak ideology, we speak ideas, we speak vision, we also see it. Not just speak it, we see it, we envision. Hmm? The humanitarian, right, Aquarius? But is it in our head or is it also because there's also an element of warning here to not jump the gun, to not, you know, put yourself at the head of something that might be a little bit mm, more than you can handle potentially at the moment anyway. Because when, even though you feel like you can be the, the one that makes everything work and figure it all out and save the situation, the second you enter the situation, the chaos, you might be finding yourself feeling, feeling a little bit, oh, shit. 
this is worse than I imagine, or this is a little bit above my head, I'm, I'm in over my head. Um, I don't know if I can actually handle it. Now, here's the thing, the thing, in theory and in experience, yes, you can, but I have a feeling like whatever it is that you're trying to handle is not necessarily something you have encountered before or have mastered before. It's a little bit of a new territory. Um, people are acting funny in a way that you don't anticipate. Uh, the structure that is shaking that you normally would know how to fix is different than the structures that you are familiar with. So, so then the way to fix it is also different and you're not really sure how to handle it. I would say, Aquarius, be slow and methodical. Yes, exert um, a sense of, I know what I'm doing, but not of, you know, silly arrogance where you'd be like, yeah, I can do it, and then you can't, and then people are like, make sure first, okay? Don't let your ego lead the way. Don't let the need of being the smartest person in the room, for example, lead the way. And guys, if you don't resonate with this, um, watch your other placement, moon, rising, Venus, whatever. Um, regardless, also watch your past month's reading just to kind of make the connections and realizations and learn from the past energies and, you know, from a point of view that you've already experienced. It's also very teaching. It's not, we're here not just to know what will be, but also grow yeah the god of cookie should i have another cookie i feel like you need a cookie you you got this Aquarius. i'm not saying that you don't i'm just saying i don't want you to drown i want you to make sure that you really know what you're doing and i'm not trying to make you feel insecure the opposite I want to empower you so if you were to go to a situation thinking you can handle it and then you can't that will diminish your sense of security but if you kind of listen to me and heed the warning and be like oh maybe I should check a little bit more into this before I commit to something and then learn a little bit more about it and make sure I do know what it is that I'm going into then when you do the research or just a little bit of prep when you actually go into it then you get to really be empowered because you'll be able to handle it. Hmm? And you don't like to be embarrassed uh, in front of people. So I just want to make sure that you can be that, you are that person that I know you can be. Okay? Let's see. Ooh, bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. I believe in you, you believe in you, everyone believes in you. You are guided by love. Good. And that's another Ace. When you are guided by love, nothing can hold you back. I feel the need to say true love as opposed to ego love because a lot of times I find people confused wanting to control something to loving it wanting to own something and to have it as opposed to loving it love is freedom but you know that Aquarius I don't need to tell you this unless it's a shady Aquarius watching every zodiac has its shadow side and then it's, you know, instead of the humanitarian, it's a dictator, right? Lead the mass or control the mass. And that depends on how much you allow your ego to lash. But in this case, I'm feeling you kind of standing as the eye of the storm, kind of watching things crumble and you trying to keep it together and and also maintain joy in the house, right? When people around you are like bickering and fighting over nonsense and you're like trying to insert joy and happiness and positivity and remind people why they are, you know, why they need to be kind to each other because they love each other, you know, kind of put things in proportions. 
Don't be tempted to go into drama this month, Aquarius. There's enough drama as it is in the planets, although calmer than last year, but still. Let's let's look forward, please, Aquarius for February. Thank you. I have two cards. Temperance and the Ten of Wands. Okay, you can't do it all. It will just collapse, okay? If you'll try to do everything, you'll end up doing nothing. You want to be the wizard that tempers, you know, like temperance that like alchemically manages to get everything done magically. It will not work this month. You need to be more slow, more humble. Don't take too much responsibilities. Don't try to overprove yourself because you'll end up just underprove yourself. One small step at a time. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't go from 0 to 100 and from 100 to 0. Steadily grow. Because some of you are, you know, you're, you're just being Aquarius. You have this sense of mission. You want to heal the world, fix the world, heal the people around you, fix the people around you. You're only overbearing yourself, and honestly, some of you are overbearing your environment. I'm sorry, because I love you, I'm saying all this. And because I know so many Aquarians, if there are Aquarians who are watching me and thinking, is she talking about me? Maybe, maybe not. I'm talking to a collective of Aquarians. That's why I, what I focus on when I shuffle the cards. So take it or leave it. Up to you. Um... Yeah. Temper two things at a time. Okay? Not ten. Once you go for three and above, things will start to crumble. Master one or two things each time. Then get the hang of it. Go into a routine. Go into a routine with it. Let it come like easy, like a habit. And then go to the next. At least for this month, Aqua. Wheel of Fortune, yes. Don't push through the change and the growth. Because the universe has a rhythm right now to things. Um, there are a lot of things that are going on in people's lives. It is not a time to force healing. Definitely not meddle with people's karma. People have the right to be wrong. People have the right to be sick. I know it's funny it's part of the it's, it's the shadow side of free choice huh when you meddle with someone's karma when you take someone's lesson um, you you take it and you don't want that you don't want that you don't need that okay so if someone asks for your help it's one thing Okay, it's, it's one thing. And then you can, you know, pros and cons, figure it out. Also, if you're on the receiving end, you want someone to fix something for you, do things for you, consider that, you know, avoiding a karmic lesson, avoiding doing something that you're supposed to do for yourself, with yourself, will not make it go away. It will only come back tenfold. Mm. Leo is in the house, Aquarius is in the house, fixed signs are in the house with the Wheel of Fortune, but most especially Leo because we have the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. 
Mars immutable, Mars in fixed. Yeah. Don't be fixed, Aqua, because then Mars is gonna whatever it's doing up there, it's gonna shake your essence into mutable. So just be mutable. Okay? Don't go and um, try to grab responsibilities. Allow opportunities and responsibilities to come to you and then sorry. Delegate, delegate, choose, prioritize, prioritize. Uh -huh. I love prioritizing, prioritizing. One more card for Aquarius for February. By the way, if you're here for love, aren't we all? Um, the extended link below will be a Valentine's special. So I will focus in the extended on love. We will start like we always start with the numerology aspect of the reading, uh, with the sacred numerology and, and angel numbers that will arise from this reading if, and then we will move to a Celtic cross. Excuse me. Then we'll move to a Celtic cross about love for February, and we'll finish up with words. Okay. Show me more for Aquarius. Possibly one or two cards to sum up February. Thank you. Three of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. You're not going to take my advice, huh? You're going to be like, no, I can do it. And then focus on what you know for now, Aquarius, and what you want to learn, lo learn slowly and responsibly. Five of Wands. Okay, so we have. Three of Wands in the reverse, Five of Wands in the upright. Fell right on top of this one. If you will try to prove yourself without something to show for, it will create conflict and dispute. You might win the battle but lose the war. People will sit for a second just to let you do, do what you do because I don't know. And then they'll be like, ugh. Please, I'm saying it because I love you. Now, this could be someone in your life, by the way. The roles can be reversed. But this just connects to the Ten of Wands, right next to the Temperance and the Five of Swords. Someone really wants to prove themselves. And they're picking up the sword and they're like, I'm going to do it, and then things don't work. Um, I don't want you to be that person. I don't. I want you to be patient and humble. Can you do that for me? Please, Aquarius. Sorry. Hey. I bet you're hating me right now. You're annoyed with this reading, and you're annoyed with me playing with my hair and eating cookies, and you think my god of cookies is weird. Half of you think it's brilliant, half of you are hating me. It's okay. I love you anyway. I love you anyway. I need one more. I need one more card. Please. One more card for Aquarius for February. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Why don't I let you look at the cards, huh? Oh, so it's like this. this is what you want to show and rightly so because it's there I'm worried about the way you might be going about it too fast too much too from the ego too against the natural order focus your communication on one person at a time like send an email to one person, see how they respond before you send it to the entire organization, right? There's a lot of things you don't really know about. I don't know how to explain it. More to learn, more to practice. Um, there's a need of being more methodical and allow timing. OK, 
okay? Because things will happen the way you see them. The vision is real. But it's like you're looking at a mountain and but behaving like it's a hill. Ah, I can climb it. Hold on. Do you have all your equipment? Right? What you're going through right now can be one of two things. Either a harsh lesson in an patience and humility or an empowering step forward towards the vision. The vision is there. The only question is how you'll get there, painfully or joyfully. Painfully, if you'll go too fast and act from ego. Joyfully is if you will listen to the timing of the universe, listen to people around you. Be humble and methodical. Um, there is slight disharmony right now. You need to wait it out. Just wait it out, Aquarius. Not a time to push. Sorry, I have to say it as I see it. Okay, before I give you a message from the runes, let me show you the first part of the extended, which is the um, numerology and energy part. So I'm taking the rep repetitions, five and five, 10 and 10, the Wheel of Fortune is 10. I'm gonna leave all the major arcana, because that's just how we do it. <laughs> But I'm going to rearrange them chronologically, 10, 14, 16. Okay. This will be the first part of the extended before we go to the Celtic for the... Now I'm going to do one rune. Um, in the link below in the extended, I will finish up with three runes. Okay? But I want to give you all some... A taste of my Celtics. <laughs> okay, so a rune for my visionaries, heroic, brilliant Aquarius. A rune for Aquarius for the month of February for their birthday, please. Okay, Kinaz in the reverse. Something needs to be closed properly before you can start something anew, the thing that, whatever it is that you, you're trying to pull up here, okay? You need to first tie the knots, make sure that everything is proper. Um, if you'll over push yourself into something, offer yourself, um, you know, force yourself onto something, it will encounter with a no. So forcing is not an option having aggressive for like there's just no cooperation i'm sorry actually five 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 plus 14 is five sorry um the way to get the um the the kanaz in its upright meaning the open hand and the open opportunities and the acceptance is by following the advice that i gave here but being slow and methodical and humble and allowing the winds to kind of, the flames to, to um, what you call it, to turn off themselves. Just be around, observe. Be around and observe. Don't, don't jump into the fire, okay? Don't jump into the fire. Look from the outskirts and observe and learn. Aquarius, I know this was a very specific message, so, so those of you who didn't resonate, please, please, please feel free to watch your other placements. Um, also, you can book a private reading with me, link below, and the fun, um, miraculous information box where everything that is good is. <laughs> you have their tarot masterclass to learn tarot online at your own pace. Choose whichever cards you want to learn about. Um, so you can find it in the link below. It's called Tarot Masterclass. I teach it. Um, there's a link for a private reading with me and to book it and there's a link to your Vimeo Extended which I'm going to do right now with your Valentine's um, special Celtic Cross and if you don't know I did a very extensive um, 2019 yearly extended for all the zodiacs I called it Ministress of Magic link is also of course below uh, where I dissect the year by the months with the after tarot, with Celtic tarot, 
with runes, I Ching, and Akashic Records, and it's pretty dope. So check it out if you want to. Sorry, I should have said all that like this. But hey, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a second in the extended, and I'll see you in March. Happy birthday, Aquarius. I love you, love you, love you. Oh, uh, if you didn't subscribe, here's the opportunity. I always have to say it because I have a YouTube channel, so I should say it because I want you to subscribe. And thank you, by the way, for your likes and comments. I read everything, and it warms my heart. Sorry if you didn't like this reading. I love you. <laughs> Bye.